Here's the fourth reason. Pain can develop character. Romans 5.4 says this. Suffering produces character. How many of you have noticed that? You've noticed that before? In life, you always learn more from your pain than you do from your pleasures. You learn more from failure than you do your success, right? It's the tough times that we develop character, not the easy peasy times, right? That's not when it's happening. God is interested in molding you and I and making us into the likeness of his son. That's his goal. Great quote from C.S. Lewis. If you've never heard this before, you're going to love this. C.S. Lewis says, God whispers to us in our pleasure, but he shouts to us in our pain. Isn't that true? I know that uh, when I was younger, my parents separated when I was about 15 years old. Things were not going great in our home, just to even put it lightly. But it wasn't much longer after that that the actual divorce took place. I was 16 years old. I had two younger brothers. One was 11 and the other one was six. It was not an ideal situation for anybody. It wasn't. And you know what happens? For for me, at 15, 16 years old, I didn't know how to process any of that. I didn't know what to do. So what did I do? I went into full rebellion mode. That's what I did. Do you know how you do that in the 80s? I became punk rocker boy. That's what I did. Pump's not dead. Right? That was exactly what happened in my life. And I was all in. I did the dress. I was totally dressed the dress, man. I had the leather studded jacket. I had these bangs that were down below my chin. I was rebelling against all authority and the music, the terrible music. Why? But the truth is, those were just action. Those were just surface actions. That's what it was of a much deeper hurt inside. That's what was happening. I didn't know how to process any of that. So that's what I did. And so I end up recommitting my life to Jesus Christ when I was 21, just a few years ago. And it's not funny. I began to grow in him and the Holy Spirit began to teach me how to process and to move in life. And here's what happens. And that pain begins to develop some character. And so you know what I said? I said, guess what? I am going to love my wife. I am going to be the best husband that I can possibly be to her. I am going to be a great father. They will see this. My children will know beyond a shadow of a doubt that they are loved always and that I will be this example for them of what a great marriage looks like and what a great family looks like because this is what happens. Suffering can produce character in us. And please hear that, folks. The pain can develop character in our lives if we let it. 